Hey guys, it's Vernie here. Another Tuesday, another Vault video. This is War Within Season 1, Week 10, and we've got a lot of 10s this week. Very apt for Week 10, so go ahead and get started. Uh, I think we actually didn't do anything on the DK because we were feeling lazy and just didn't bother doing it. I'm sure I'll get him involved this week, but we got a lot done on some of the other characters, like the Rogue and the Warrior. So that's kind of cool. They're decently geared now. Anyway... Start with the Paladin. We're going to go in reverse order this time. There's not a whole lot to see. The Paladin, I think, is just myth missing Myth Rings and a Trinket. And it's kind of it. Unfortunately, I still have to open it as Holy because I'm... You know, you're not able to get any of the Holy Trinkets as Ret or Prot. So, until we have a second Trinket, we're probably opening Holy forever. Which is pretty lame. But what can you do? Once we get past this load screen here... Yeah. I mean, we do have a myth belt as well that we could upgrade, but the only things we're missing for the Gilded Crest achievement are two rings and a trinket. Swap it to Holy. I think we did four tens, so we'll have two dungeon slots and then one heroic raid slot, which we don't care about, so... <gasps> oh! <sighs> Ask and ye shall receive! Fucking changeling. I think that's my first myth one. Wow. Okay. Oh, I got a screenshot it for the guild. We got a screenshot it. Oh. That is dirty. <laughs> well, we're taking that. I don't even care about this cape. Obviously, we're not taking boots. <laughs> Fucking changeling. So that gives us a uh, Changeling Sack Brood. That's actually a pretty decent combo. Sack Brood is like fourth, fifth best for healers. It's not like a disgusting trinket. It is very solid, but wow, that Changeling is a sick pickup. Okay, good start. Very good start. And now most of these characters are just, are just going to have 110. I ended up doing, like, three keys on a bunch of characters, so a bit of a missed opportunity on some of them, but, you know, whatever. We'll be a little bit better this week about being more definitive in our choices for what we fill vaults on instead of doing a hodgepodge and missing slots. Um, the Evoker just did 110. Again, we have a pretty solid trinket. We could use another trinket. We got the Rare Ration on Cape last week, which is pretty sick. Um, apart from that, I guess Myth Chest or Myth Helm. That's kind of it. Getting down to the wire on this character as well. And we'll just be passively upgrading, you know, to 630 and beyond. Is that a weapon? Ugh. Well, can't really take that. I guess I should have done more content for a socket. Oh. Do I ever take this and then craft away from Ascension? Probably not, right? No, I think we just take the the two tokens. Swing and a miss. Always the risk with the one slaughters. You just uh, you get got sometimes. But that's okay. This character's almost 6:30. We don't really play it that often. If we need to play it, it'll be there. I was planning on playing it in the alt raid, but some things changed, and I ended up on the warrior this week because we didn't have a tank, so I had to gear my warrior from like 6:05 to 6:20 for mythic, which we did do. But we'll get to him later. Monk, uh, I think this is the one I did three keys on, so unfortunately we're only going to have one slot. Last week we picked up a Myth Gale, which is obviously Biss and huge. I think we still open as Mistweaver. There's still a chance we can get Changeling or Crystal or Sack Brood. Um, barring that, Mythic Tear. This character is like just starting getting his 10s done. And the plan is to get like one 10 done pretty much every week on every healer if we can. Boots... Ah, that's where my embellishment is. Um, or do we take a socket? We could actually take a socket and upgrade our belt. Like, what are the chances I ever get out of this embellish? Where, or where could I move the embellish to? 
I think because the embellish is 619, we consider taking this and then just recraft a gilded. Once we like once we get the 90, we can recraft a 636. Probably cape or bracers. So a socket would be useful, but I think I can make these work. It's going to be a bit of a longer term play. First crit is not very exciting stats for Mistweaver. It's okay. I'd prefer to see haste crit or even haste verse. Let me see what they catalyze into. We already we already took them, but you know maybe they catalyze into something cool. Mastery haste. Now it's garbage. Okay. Well, we're keeping them as that, and we'll. Uh... Oh, we actually have a free harbinger crest, so we can actually just recraft immediately into a new embellishment, and capes are super cheap, so uh, we'll go ahead and do that. So all in all, that works out. 622.88. These characters is going to be a bit of a, a longer grind. I mean, 90 crests for a single crafted item is a huge roadblock. And then because I don't have the gilded... Crest achievement on my main, which I can't imagine very many people have that, because you have to get 639 in every slot. You can't just craft 636s. It's kind of stupid, actually. I hope Blizzard looks at changing that, because Gilded Crests are... I mean, it's an insane grind if you want to gear your alts. I think most of mine are probably going to bottom out at 625, and that's it. Unless we get lucky. Or we just spend an inordinate amount of time on them. Alright, so the Shaman. Uh, I think this is, again, another 110. Uh, we'd prefer not to see a dagger and bracers. That's pretty much it. We'd love to see trinkets or some tear pieces. We'll open his Ellie. See what we get. Okay. Myth Helm. That's a 10 item level upgrade off the rip. Plus potential to get to 639. And probably a cool transmog. Nice. Very cool. Do I even have... Any non-619 pieces? Shouldn't that have given me the achievement? But it didn't. Okay, I don't know. Whatever. Let me look at the transmog, too. Oh, you can't see shit. It's kind of ugly. <laughs> what a letdown, dude. All right. <laughs> Priest. Priest is another singular vault. What did we take last week? I think we took a myth piece. A myth helm? Was that last week we took the myth helm? I know last week we got a bunch of tier pieces. But I don't remember which character got what. I don't pay enough attention for that. Oh no, we took gloves. We had took myth helm the week prior to that, so... Two weeks of tier. And this character is close to a weapon. I should be able to craft a weapon this week that'll make it a 636 here. So we'd prefer not to see a weapon. If we see a weapon, then I guess we'll just um, find a different embellishment. I don't know. We'll craft off of this. This is definitely better in raid, but I don't really raid that much on this character. Um, trinkets would obviously be cool. We love the trinkets. Oh my god, another one. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. Two myth changelings. That is disgusting. I don't even need to consider taking the socket because we're not going to. Wowie. Now we are quite a ways away from being able to upgrade it because we need to craft a weapon first. The weapon's going to be bigger than upgrading the changeling, but wow. That is a pickup. Alt's getting lucky. All right. Druid. I think the druid I did three or four keys on. Looks like I only did three, so it's only going to be one dungeon slot. Again, a bit of a... A misstep there. I should be better about actually finishing vaults that I started, but I don't know. I kind of was just playing whatever I felt like last week, and it was a lot of warrior. We were trying to get the warrior all finished up. So what do I even need? We have enough to craft a weapon, so I think we'll be crafting our feral weapon and then upgrading our boomkin weapon for free. Uh, I guess just trinket or tier. If we got a boomkin weapon, I wouldn't be that upset, but... We'll see. Shoulders. Sure. Yep. Take them. Myth shoulders. I mean, it's like a four item level upgrade. But some potential down the line if we ever get <laughs> crests going on this character. And we're just going to go catalyze it now before I forget about it. What are the stats? First grit, which is pretty terrible. Luckily, we can catalyze them. 
into was a haste crit. Haste mastery. Oh, that's good. Okay, cool. With an appearance, I think the druid ones are kind of bad though. If I'm being honest. Oh, uh, they're okay actually. I don't really like the mismatched shoulder sets, but I know some people are really big into those. I like it being symmetrical. All right, we'll go slightly out of order here because the last two characters have the actual vaults. The mage, we managed to get a 10 on. On Monday night, people were running keys, and I offered my mage. I actually didn't do as poorly as I thought I was going to do. I thought I was going to die a bunch because I'm only 6'10", but turns out with a halfway decent group, 6'10 is completely fine. And I did like 1.2 million DPS, so not amazing, not terrible. I'm competing against like 635 people, so obviously they dumpstered me. And, I mean, really, we could use anything. Um, if, we, if we got a weapon, I wouldn't be super psyched about it, just because I have one of my embellishments there, but if I get it, then it is what it is, so just take it and go. Nice. Crit haste chest. Cool. That's pretty solid. So what's the only dud? The, the, the evoker, I think? They're pretty good. I do believe we need to catalyze. Yeah, we don't have gloves. We should consider crafting, actually. Really good tip. If you uh, if you haven't done uh, reps and you're close to rank Renown 24, if you get Renown 24, you get a free Ruined Harbinger Crest, which gives you a free 619 piece. So I think I'm up to three or four of these for free now, so all of my ults can instantly get free 619s as soon as I have Sparks. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I would kind of like to keep the crit haste, honestly, but I don't have gloves, so I think we just catalyze it and, yeah, we just deal with it. Cool. 611. So a long ways to go on the mage. The mage is probably the next character to get a bit of love. Mage and the DK. All right, Rogue. Uh, we finished mostly gearing him this week. I think he's like 617, so he's pretty much done with heroic. Got some really good luck. Managed to get a full heroic clear. Minus queen. So we won't have that on the loot table, but we'll have, you know, three raid slots, and then we did a 10. Plus some delves, so we'll have a bunch of uh, slots there. We got two heroic weapons. We crafted, like, 619s in all of our missing slots. Uh, so I guess from the myth track, we're looking to find a weapon or Skarden's Grace. Those would be sick. From the raid, I don't think I would really take anything except maybe the ration on cape or the sick grand neck. That's kind of it. But we'll open his assassination. Hope to get a dagger. Okay, I don't see anything super exciting. Verse mastery shoulders, which we crafted there, with 619. Crit verse bracers, that's our embellishment, not great. Crit haste neck, that's like a little better statted, but we have the sick ran normal neck, so I don't really want to replace it. Verse haste ring. Um, I think that's really good for outlaw. Haste verse shoulders, no. And a 584 trinket, obviously not that. We don't really have anything to socket. I mean, I think we just take the ring. That's not a very exciting pick, but... It does give us some options for playing Outlaw. Which I guess we could probably craft a second Outlaw ring and then just, you know, swap rings whenever we swap specs. So, yeah, not, not very exciting, but uh, we will take it. And lastly, we have the Warrior. So, as I was saying earlier, we geared up the Warrior a bunch. We went from like 608 or something to, you know, 620, trying to get it ready for Mythic. We did a mythic sale on it, so we killed four mythic bosses and some heroic bosses. We'll have three raid slots, two myth, one hero. And then we did a bunch of, like, sevens to, to fives just to get ruined crests. Um, unfortunately, did not get a ten done, which we probably should have, but that's okay. Uh, and from that myth, or from the mythic raid sale, we got uh, myth gloves and a one-hander, so we're pretty set there. Wouldn't mind seeing a shield. Ration on cape, sick ran neck, obviously huge pickups. I feel like any of the raid pieces are going to be pretty solid just because it's going to be hero to myth or champ to myth, depending. So I think we just 
open it as prot and just see what happens. Well, actually, hold on. Let me just double check. Am I screwing myself out of a trinket if I do that? Like, I'd rather not see Chalicera. I don't need that trinket. Okay. This DPS trinket's kind of whatever. So yeah, I think we open his prot on the off chance. There is a shield in the loot pool from the first boss, so we'll open his prot. <clears throat> huh? Okay. Oh, dude. We should have done a 10. Oh, this would have been a mythic sack brood. Man, that sucks. All right. Myth helm. With a socket. That's actually a pretty big pickup. Wow. That is, that's really nice. Myth Bracers, Crit Haste, really good stats. But Bracers are kind of a low value slot. Hero Shoulders with Leech, which is cool, but we already have those. Oh, I really want to take this Sack Brood, but I feel like I can't give up... No way I can give up a, a nice Myth piece with a Socket, right? And it's got good stats. 616 Shoulders and a 613 Meat Hook, not really in contention. And a 584 Delve Trinket, who cares? Hmm. Alright, well, hold on, I'm gonna make a post. Alright, I think we're just taking the helm. It's a high value slot and it's got a free socket. It's got good stats on it, won't have to catalyze it. Overall pretty solid. I do want the sack brood, but I can just get a sack brood from a dungeon. Um, this week we're gonna try and farm some more gilded crests, and then hopefully be a little more ready for raid. Honestly, tanking the myth raid wasn't that bad at six nineteen. It's the taunt swaps are not very hard. I feel like the bosses are not super punishing. Rashanon did quite a bit of damage, but the other bosses don't do a whole lot. So even me with having like a very rudimentary knowledge of Prot Warrior, I was able to tank everything just fine and not really die. So 620, pretty good. Probably go to the Mythic Sale on him again this week. Get that cash. And anyway, that's going to be it for me. Let's like double check what the affix is. I think it's the orbs this week. Uh, yes, so it's the orbs. Make sure you absorb them. What is it? A haste. Is it Haste CDR? I actually don't remember the buff that it gives you, but, you know, Zalatath Affix has got buffed a few weeks ago. They last 30 seconds now. They're pretty significant. You definitely benefit from doing them. But uh, I'll be streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Feel free to come check us out. I'm on most nights of the week. We did kill Silken Court, so we're on to Queen progression this week. Uh, Hall of Fame did close, unfortunately. We're a little out of that window. But may as well finish it strong and go into farm. I'm sure we'll pick up a bunch of alts during farm. So, yeah, come check us out. Hope you guys had some good vaults, and we'll see you next time. Peace.